Boom. What is going on guys? So this grinder is arguably one of the most hype grinder of the year 2023. And for 650 US dollars, we'll dive deep into this video review and to see what this grinder has to offer. Stay tuned, let's go. What is going on guys? And my name is Josh and I'm from His Brew Coffee Roastery. So this grinder here, the Sculptor 078 has been hyped and talked about and the internet, on forums, and even in cafes. And so your question would be, is this a suitable grinder for me? Well, let's just first discuss about the build quality of this grinder. This grinder here just speaks quality. Everything of its construction is just stainless steel and aluminum. Even the catch cup itself is a hefty chunk of metal here. And what's nice about um, grinders nowadays is they're using more and more magnetic parts. For example, this, this catch tray here, it's magnetically positioned right underneath the chute. And even just the tray itself, it's also magnetically secured by a magnet and just the dial itself right here it's also magnetically placed onto it so you have three magnets all going on in this grinder um the construction of it is really nice it has a very nice click shoot here knocker so it just gets the fines out uh, or even if you don't want to find you can let go of the fine later on um the tray itself it's really nice but uh unfortunately this is more of a single dose design for those of you who want to do it in large batches maybe it's this kind is not so suitable per serving you could fit about 20 to 25 grams of coffee in here so just enough for uh, a, a basic pour over right but not too much um, another thing about this grinder is it comes with variable RPM. So from 800 RPM all the way to 1400 RPMs. And it's powered by a brushless DC motor. So what you, they mean by this is that it's really, really quiet. Let me turn it on and let you hear the sound of the motor, okay? I'll change the RPM to a higher RPM. That's the max RPM. So you can see that it's really, really quiet and um, a brushless DC motor, not only would it be quiet, it can be variable and ultimately also it's even longer lasting than a traditional uh, motor. So everything about this speaks quality. The only two downsides in terms of design is the buttons here. If you look at the buttons, out of all this, it kind of seems like it's out of place. Um, the design of it, it's not the prettiest. I wish they just have a press button or on off switch and that would be it right you don't they don't need a pusher and this doesn't look very nice another thing that's not too uh, that could be improved is the quality of the tray it's made out of plastic which is fine but the positioning of it to move in and out although it's magnetically put in place it's still not the most intuitive Many times, um, you will not know where the front and which is the back, right? But actually, this time or design is supposed to be facing back the logo. So a few things, because if you put it to the front, it just doesn't suit it or, or, or suits the magnetic location. You get to put it right at the back. So just the two design flaws that we found in um, this, not really a flaw, but just a design improvement that we would like to see from this grinder. Um, even in that, this machine, just performs wonderfully now let's talk about the burr set the burrs that are in here are 78 millimeters so it's 78 millimeter grinder and what they uh, uh, claim is that this burr set here it's a turbo burr or some would call it a ghost burr the design of it is just really really different from other designs the cut out of it it's almost as if there's a design and then a cutout an indentation and then a revert again so with this design what they claim is that the grind distribution is tighter and it's more uniform now so for those of you out there you're just wondering maybe you're a beginner you're wondering what is all this uniformity uh grind uh, uh size uh uniform tightness of it well uh, what does that mean well let me just explain let me put a chart here and let me show you so a grind usually depends on the kind of burr sets that you have and the grinder you have the more uniform the grinds meaning your grinds has more or the grind size of it is more or less the same so you want your graph 
to situate at a very very center location and ideally 80 to 90 percent of the particle distribution would be at a single range that way you'll be able to tell whether it's uniform and the effects for the end result of the cup is that if your growing size is more uniform than not what you'll be able to do is it will be more consistent first of all and secondly it will be easier for you to repeat your brew method or your brew your the end result of your brew cup bearing in mind that everything else is constant so grind uniformity is pretty important for this grinder we found that the uniformity of it um, just based on our testing nothing scientific here is really nice um it really is also very different from for example a commandante c40 we've tested the commandante c40 with this turbo burr side by side and what we realize is that um, this flat burr it creates a really excellent cup we would say let's say for example on a scale of 0 to 10 a 8.5 out of 10 it doesn't create a bad cup actually it's really forgiving while the commandante c40 it's a conical burr so you can't really compare but if you were to compare it the commandante c40 would be it brings out more of the clarity it brings out more of the acidity in the coffee um so it's really nice for pour over for the commandante c40 while this right here it just brings all the flavor notes together so you don't get the high acidity or even just the low sweetness everything has been pushed together combined into one and you get the end result of it for a cup of pour over with this grinder and this bursa is just excellent now for my preference i prefer the burr set on this 78 compared to the commandante for most beats now there might be a few questions that you guys have in mind whether this grinder here the 78 can grind for espresso quick answer nope it cannot we tried grinding at zero setting the, the water flow is just too fast it's just it took just 10 seconds for 18 grams coffee so it's 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 impossible to grind a espresso if you want an espresso you have to go up to a 78s or a 64s right this grinder is suitable for those of you who maybe perhaps want to tinker around with a ghost burr or a, a turbo burr and this uh this burr set here or this grinder here is really value for money for 650 us dollars uh, I think this grinder here, uh, it's a perfect companion for anyone that wants to deliver the best uh, uh, pour over cup at home. And this is really suitable. The nice thing about this grinder is it's also aesthetically pleasing and it's really small. This is the 78, the 64 is even smaller. Even with a 78, we've been bringing this around to our cafe partners, to cupping sessions. It's because it's just, it's really portable and it's not too heavy. It's about seven kilograms. Lastly, this has 36 clicks. So what it has is, is zero all the way to 18, but you could go by half a steps in between. So 0 0.5, right? One, 1.5 and so on. The ranges that they give, uh, the official ranges that they give is four, the grind size of 4 to 12 would be suitable for pour over for french press it would be 12 to 18 and then they were saying that uh, for a cupping official cupping grind size it would be a 5.5 now a few tips beware we were told by time more that if you take the burst set out and um, something were to happen your warranty for this grinder would be void so just be careful whenever you're about to clean the burr set, change out the burr set, whatever you're trying to do. Time War has notified us that if ever something is tinkered within the burr set, your warranty would be void. Now, this might be different later on. I don't know if they would change their policy, but that is what they've told us. And so just be very careful from who you would to buy it from and just uh, bear that in mind. So conclusion. This grinder, I think it's good and perfect for those of you who are looking to upgrade from, let's say, a Bratza Encore or just a hand grinder that you have, a Timor hand grinder, the C2 or the C3, and you want something that's electric so that you're not constantly building up your hand muscles. Uh, perfect grinder. 
for $600 or $650, I think you're getting everything that you need from a grind like this. The end result of the cup is just something that is really unique and different from other uh, burr sets that we've ever tasted. Being that we are in Asia, I think we still want coffee to taste like coffee, meaning like to have a body to it. And this basically achieves that. So what do you guys think? Is this grinder suitable for you? Do you think you will get this grinder for 650 US dollars? Let us know down in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.